After years of speculation, Iran's Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jet project is finally ready to take flight. Hello and welcome back to our channel where today we uncover a bold step in Iran's military modernization. The first batch of Iranian-assembled Sukhoi Su-35 fighters has passed its flight tests. They are combat ready, and their public debut could be just days away. With Army Day approaching on April 18th, Iran stands poised to showcase its newest air power. The Russian Sukhoi Su-35 Flanker E is a highly maneuverable 4 generation multi-role fighter jet, equipped with advanced avionics, long-range radar, and potent weaponry. Iran plans to acquire 60 of these jets by end of 2025. This marks a strategic shift, not just in defense capabilities, but in technology transfer and local production. From aging aircraft to state-of-the-art fighters, Iran's Air Force is entering a new era. But what makes the Su-35 so special, and how will it impact the regional balance of power? In today's video, we break down everything you need to know about this major development. According to credible reports from multiple sources, the process of implementing the Su-35 fighter jet deal between Iran and Russia is progressing at an impressive pace. The first batch of Sukhoi Su-35 fighters has been successfully assembled and tested on Iranian soil. This is the first time in Iran's history that such advanced aircraft have been assembled domestically. According to multiple reliable sources, these jets have completed their flight tests and are ready for active duty. The decision to unveil them now lies with senior military commanders, who are closely monitoring regional developments. With Army Day on April 18th just around the corner, Anticipation is building for a high-profile debut. This could be the most significant addition to Iran's Air Force in decades. Military observers believe that this unveiling will send a powerful signal to Iran's adversaries and allies alike. It also confirms that the Iran-Russia military partnership is deepening, with long-term implications for the region. The successful assembly and readiness of these Su-35s marks a milestone not only in capability, but in self-reliance. All eyes are now on Iran's skies and what may soon emerge to redefine them. For decades, Iran's air force has been held back by an aging fleet and limited access to modern fighter jets. Western sanctions left Iran reliant on outdated American and Soviet-era aircraft. Regional rivals, meanwhile, have modernized rapidly with F-35s, Rafals and Eurofighters dominating their skies. The Su-35 Flanker E emerged as a powerful and politically viable solution for Iran. This 4 plus generation multi-role fighter is known for its superior agility, radar systems, and weapon capacity. Its Saturn AL-41 F-1S engines provide thrust vectoring capability, making it one of the most maneuverable fighter jets in the world. With a top speed of Mach 2.25 and a combat range of over 1,000 miles, the Su-35 is built for both offensive and defensive missions. Capable of carrying up to 8 tons of armament, the Su-35 gives Iran both offensive punch and air superiority potential. Its Urbis-E radar system tracks 30 targets simultaneously and can engage stealthy or high-speed threats. The decision to pursue the Su-35 wasn't just about hardware. It was a strategic choice aligned with Iran's long-term military doctrine. By acquiring these jets, Iran bridges a decades-long gap in its air power and levels the playing field in a hostile region. The Su-35 isn't just a fighter jet, it's a statement of intent, signaling that Iran is ready to challenge the existing aerial order in the Middle East. One of the most groundbreaking elements of this deal is Iran's ability to assemble the Su-35 locally. Unlike past acquisitions, these jets didn't arrive ready-made, they came in disassembled form for Iranian technicians to put together. This signals a significant leap in Iran's aviation expertise and military industrial capabilities. Under the guidance of Russian specialists, Iranian engineers have completed the assembly of at least six Su-35 fighters. These jets have passed flight tests and are ready for combat deployment. This move marks a significant step in technology transfer, building technical expertise and laying the foundation for an advanced indigenous military aviation industry, and paves the way for future domestic production and deeper defense cooperation between Iran and Russia. It also reduces dependency on external suppliers and strengthens Iran's ability to maintain and potentially modify the fleet. By investing in local assembly, 
Iran is taking a long-term strategic approach to defense sustainability. It's not just about acquiring jets, it's about securing the future of Iranian air power. The newly assembled Su-35s won't just sit in hangars, they're being strategically positioned across key Iranian airbases. The first deployment will likely be at Shahid Noje Air Base in Hamadan, a long-standing hub for tactical operations. This air base is being prepared, with reinforced shelters and maintenance facilities under rapid construction. Shahid Babai Air Base in Isfahan will also host Iranian Air Force Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jets. Perhaps most significant is Ogab-44, also known as Eagle-44, the underground airbase recently unveiled by the Iranian army. This facility offers fortified protection against airstrikes and is designed to house Iran's most advanced aircraft. Stationing Su-35s here sends a clear message. These fighters are not only operational but protected and ready for rapid deployment. Russian advisors are also expected to remain on site during the early operational phase, supporting Iranian personnel. This distribution strategy ensures full regional coverage from the northwest to the Persian Gulf. In military terms, it's not just about where the jets are, it's about how fast they can launch and how well they're defended. Integrating a high-performance fighter like the Su-35 requires more than hardware. It demands elite pilot training. To meet this need, Iran has acquired at least 12 Yak-130 advanced trainer jets from Russia. These aircraft are designed to simulate the cockpit and flight dynamics of fourth and fifth generation fighters. They allow Iranian pilots to train in high-intensity scenarios without risking frontline assets. This step ensures that pilots can transition smoothly from trainers to combat-ready Su-35s. Meanwhile, Iranian ground crews are undergoing technical training with Russian advisors. This includes systems diagnostics, weapons integration, and routine maintenance protocols. The goal is not just operational readiness, but full-spectrum self-sufficiency in managing the Su-35 fleet. By keeping training programs domestic, Iran reduces security risks associated with foreign deployments. Together, these efforts create a capable, confident, and independent air force equipped for modern aerial warfare. Army Day, held every April 18th, is Iran's premier platform for showcasing its military strength. This year, all eyes are on the Su-35 and whether it will make its long-anticipated public debut. Speculation suggests a dramatic fly-past or static display of the newly assembled fighters. Such a reveal would not only confirm the jet's operational status, but also boost national morale. Military parades in Tehran are known for featuring Iran's latest advancements in air, land and missile systems. The presence of the Su-35 would mark the first public appearance of a 4 plus generation fighter in Iran's arsenal. Beyond the jets, expect upgraded hardware, speeches from top commanders, and symbolic messages to regional adversaries. Should the Su-35 appear, it would serve as a powerful visual declaration of Iran's shifting air power. Whether in the skies or on the tarmac, the message will be unmistakable. Iran has entered a new era of military capability. Iran's acquisition of the Su-35 marks a significant shift in the geopolitical dynamics of the Middle East. The Su-35 enhances Iran's deterrence against adversaries such as Israel, the U.S., and Persian Gulf states, all of which operate advanced fighters like the F-35. The Su-35's radar range of 400 kilometers, advanced electronic warfare suite, super maneuverability, and long-range missile compatibility with advanced missiles like the R-77 give Iran new leverage in both defense and offense. Its integration into Iran's air defense network complicates the calculus for any nation considering preemptive strikes. This move also signals a deepening military partnership between Iran and Russia, further solidifying their strategic axis. Western powers are likely to view this development with concern, especially as it reduces the effectiveness of sanctions aimed at limiting Iran's military capabilities. The presence of Su-35s allows Iran to extend its power projection over key strategic zones, like the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz. It also strengthens Iran's deterrence posture, making hostile aerial incursions riskier for adversaries. This acquisition is not just about aircraft. It's about reshaping the regional balance of power. Rumors continue to swirl about Iran's interest in fifth-generation fighters like the Su-57 Felon and the underdevelopment Su-75 Checkmate. 
If Iran successfully absorbs Su-35 technology, future acquisitions or even co-production deals with Russia might not be far behind. The current Su-35 deal could be just the beginning of a much larger transformation. The arrival of the Su-35 marks a historic turning point for Iran's air force. As these fighters prepare to take to the skies, Iran sends a strong message about its military modernization and strategic independence. With advanced radar, weapon systems, and maneuverability, the Su-35 gives Iran unprecedented air combat capabilities. Army Day could be the moment the world witnesses this new chapter in Iranian air power. With the Su-35 fighters assembled, tested, and awaiting only a green light from commanders, there's growing speculation that this event will mark their official unveiling. What are your thoughts on the Su-35 deal? Will we see them fly this Army Day? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Iran's military advancements, please give this video a like and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with more global defense insights.